Hey guys, Nick from Homebrewer Gaming here, giving you a little interesting project that um, actually I've had for a while now, but I felt it was most appropriate to share with you guys just because I've been uh, working on other games recently and I think it would be more appropriate for me to show you guys like my past in card and board games. Now, this project you'll see right now is called Path Quest. Now, Path Quest is a game that I made in high school and it was just a simple uh, CAD project like computer aided design. I used Photoshop and everything. Um, keep in mind that like all the um, all the stuff on the box and everything isn't my own artwork. It's just stuff that I uh, collaborated together and used and therefore I don't own the rights to the artwork but um, this is like the project that I made from it. So um, basically what I'd like to show you guys is there will be another video with the gameplay but for this video I will show you guys a um, how to play slash tutorial slash rules and mechanics um, little segment. We uh, basically just print our rules on these little pink pamphlets and what have you but um, I'll just read from here and I'll have a little assistance with the board and everything like some cuts to it whenever needed. So the game of Path Quest. <coughs> In the game of PathQuest, you are a hero who is on an arduous quest to victory. In order to reach this goal, players must collect what are known as victory cards, cards which can be obtained by completing objectives throughout different lands. Once a player has collected three victory cards, they are placed in the victory zone and win the game. Before you venture forward into the mystical world of PathQuest, players must select a hero that will resemble them upon their journey. Each hero, warrior, rogue, and mage have different yet unique abilities which are found upon the treasure cards they can receive. For example, warriors receive treasure cards that will aid them in battle, while wizards receive treasure cards that hinder enemy movement and strategy. Overall, the type of hero you play depends on your preferred type of tactics. Before the game begins, players place their chosen heroes on any tile on the board in any land section besides the victory zone. When in a land, a player must move their hero throughout that land in order to achieve a victory goal listed in the center of the land. Once this goal has been achieved, the player moves their hero to a new land section on any of its tiles and receives a victory card. At the beginning of a player's turn, that player rolls a six-sided die and then moves their hero that many spaces. The direction a hero moves is entirely up to the player. When a hero lands on a non-basic tile, a tile that triggers a special event, one of the following occurs depending on the type of the tile. Circumstance Tiles Draw a card from the Circumstance deck that reflects the current land you are exploring. A Circumstance card's effects trigger immediately, then is placed on the bottom of its respective deck. Treasure Cards Draw a card from the Treasure deck that reflects the hero you have chosen. Unless stated otherwise, treasure cards can be held onto and used whenever the player desires. Once a treasure card is used, place it on the bottom of its respective treasure deck. You can use as many treasure cards as you would like in a single turn, so save up on treasure cards to pull off interesting combos. Monster Card Draw a card from the monster deck. Your hero must battle the monster card revealed. Once the battle is over, the player who battled it receives either a win or lose effect of the monster depending on the result of the battle. Combat To battle a hero or monster, players roll two separate dice one that resembles each character in the combat. Monsters add their attack bonus, as listed on their card, to their roll. Heroes may use treasure cards at this time that can change their attack bonus as well, but without the assistance of cards, nearly every hero's attack bonus is plus zero. The winner is whoever has the highest result. If it is a tie, both characters roll again. If battling a monster, the monster's win effect, as listed on their card, will trigger if the hero battling it wins. If they lose, the hero will receive the monster's lose effect. Now an exception of this, I've also added some other uh, pieces to make the classes a little more class specific or customized as I should say. Some things that have been implemented which are listed here on this little paper as you can see. Now at the beginning of the game, players draw three treasure cards. This allows them to use those treasure cards whenever needed, um, they have a little bit of an advantage in the beginning and a lot of quirky things can start at a very early time in the game. In regards to special abilities of each class, we have the following. Warriors gain a natural plus one attack bonus for battles. Even without the assistance of treasure cards, they will still get a plus one attack in that battle. Now there is also something special that was implemented later in development of the game known as landing abilities. If a hero's figure is placed on a tile that corresponds to either another land or is placed directly on another class, the landing ability of the character that moved onto that tile triggers. So for example, the warrior's landing ability is that they must battle the opponent two times. The opponent loses a treasure card for each time the warrior wins a battle. 
This allows it so the warrior can battle a character twice, and if they win both of those battles, that character, the losing character, lose two cards. The rogue has a natural attack of plus zero, but their landing ability is that they get to steal a treasure card from the opponent that they land on, and what is even better is that they get to see their hand. Not only do you get a card that could prove advantageous in your journeys, but you may also see what your opponent may be putting together as a means to sabotage the competition. The mage is somewhat simpler but also very potent in its ways. Due to the fact that the mage is a plus zero and its cards really don't assist it in combat, its landing ability is potent in the terms that when it lands on another character, they lose a turn. So in regards to that, that is all the um, rules and mechanics of the game of PathQuest. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed the rules, and believe me, that is not only it, because there will be a special video where me and some friends of I, or I should say some friends of I, I was simply recording it, um, actually play the game of PathQuest. So until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am Nick from Homebrewery Gaming, and I will see you all in the future.